Hi everybody. Now I realize that everyone that watches my videos is not a seasoned driver. In fact, some of you may just be thinking about driving and you may not know exactly how to use the driver app. So what we're gonna do is take a look at some ins and outs of the driver app. This will take course over a few videos. And in this one, we're going to talk about how to select the types of rides that you want to accept and how to cancel those that you don't. Let's talk about it. Hi everybody, Mark here from uberhints.com. Not a driver yet? You know, there are all kinds of guarantees, bonuses, and other incentives waiting for you as a new driver. It's the best time to make the most money when you're brand new. If you wanna sign up, you can go to uberhints.com or use my link down below. So let's get started. From the driver app, when you first open it, you're going to land on the home screen, which shows the map, shows where you're located, and it may show a message for the day. From there, you want to press the uh, horizontal lines in the upper right of the screen. When you do that, it'll give you some options. The big thing in the middle of the screen, at least now as I've been receiving this, is set a destination. Well, you may not want to set a destination, uh, right now, Uber only lets us use that two times a day, and what that does will only accept rides going in one general direction, and we can talk about that in another video. Right now, what we want to do is choose the types of rides that we're going to accept. So if you choose the gear in the upper right-hand corner, you see that opens up options for deliveries, or in my case, UberX. So I'm going to start by turning off the Uber X. I'm just going to open deliveries. If I turn off Uber X, you now see that that circle really is reduced and it says that I am now open to few uh, rides, right? To accept few rides because all I'm doing is, is accepting the eats. Now, if I turn that back on and I'm going to do just the opposite now, I'm going to turn off delivery and you see what happens here. It now says I can accept most rides. And then if I turn them both on, it says I'm accepting everything. Now, why would I not want to accept a ride? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Some people say, well, if it's interfering with, uh, with the flow of my night. For example, on New Year's Eve, I found that a couple of Uber Eats came in early. But after that, I started really getting a lot of requests for rides in the Uber X. And so I just went and turned delivery off. Now, what happens if you forget to turn off the delivery, but you don't want to accept any more deliveries. Well, here's what you can do. This was a little tricky, by the way. The first time that I tried to turn off and eat after accepting, and you can uh, look at that in my McDonald's video. The first time I tried to do that, I was looking around saying, where in the world is the cancellation for this? And it is a little bit tricky. So once you have accepted that ride, and in this case, it was the delivery, you again click the upper right hand corner. And what's gonna show is the ride that you're currently on. And I thought I still don't see where to turn this off. So what I had to do is I had to slide the screen down. I don't know if Uber hides this intentionally or if this is just the way the app looks. I kind of suspect they do not want to encourage people to cancel rides so they kind of keep this hidden. But if you slide down now you can see where I'm able to cancel this ride. Then you can cancel, and as long as you do this in the period prescribed, uh, generally it's five minutes, you're not going to receive any negative fallout for this. So we're going to continue to look at some of the basic functions of the app in future videos. Uh, if you have any questions on how to either accept only eats or only um, people, in my case UberX, or how to cancel, please leave it down below. If your app looks different, because sometimes the apps change from time to time, you know, leave that down below too, because I do read the comments and maybe this video can be updated. I'm Mark with uberhints.com. As always, I love it when you comment down below, when you give the thumbs up, when you share the video, and especially when you subscribe. Thanks for watching.